welcome to How to Draw Basic Caricatures. Last year, I sat outside the art center drawing during Arts Alive while making observations of those facial characteristics that distinguish us from one another. What are those characteristics, you ask? There are five shapes, and they are shapes. There's the head shape, an eye shape, two eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, characters, characters, caricatures can exaggerate those features, of course, to create a cartoon so it doesn't have to look exactly like the person. It's what you as the artist sees. And here, these are recognizable faces, I think. Uh, George Floyd, Taylor Swift, and, of course, Deadpool. Okay, we've talked about the five shapes that make up um, a face, basically. We've got the five shapes. And um, the next thing you want to think about is where to put these shapes, where to put the eyes, where to put the nose. And so one of the things that most artists do is to create the shape, the head shape first, and then have a center line, basically, that gives you a guide to use as a place to place the, the pieces, the, the eyes, the mouth, the ears. So you have sort of a, a layout. Then there's eyebrows and so on. But with a center line and then the cross line, you get a good sense of how things get laid out. Now the eyes in a face will pretty much land on that center line, which seems like something that is hard to realize, but if you look at a face, those eyes usually land right above the center of the head. And the nose is just below, and of course, then there's a mouth, like so. And following that diagram, you can also put a line here for the nose, a little bit below the center line, and then another line where your mouth is going to be. All right, I'm going to show you what tools to you that I like to use for doing caricature. And um, I love it. I love drawing caricature. I love the joy that it brings to people's faces when you can make a likeness and they're ready and they don't expect it to look exactly like them. That People are very playful when it comes to making something that is meant to be fun. So what I do to as my um, tools, and I'm going to show you the tools, I use a pencil and an eraser because as I when I start my shapes, they may not be perfect, and I want to give myself, um, you know, I can start this way, get my center line, get my all the things, all the, get my grid set up, and then I can start making my, my face. Um, different shape heads, I want to talk about that for a minute. So here are my, here are my tools. I also use uh, Crayola, um, I use to color. I, when I color, a, color my, my pictures, like I have here, you just use these simple markers. And um, then shadowing with, uh, the Tombow is another uh, tool, and Sharpies are fun too. So once you get your pencil lines drawn, then you can go in and go over them with your darker tools. And so with a head shape to start with. Now, maybe it's not a, a round shape. Maybe we start with a, an oval, more in the case. And then we start looking at a face and um, developing the pieces and um, so yeah starting with all right we're ready we're ready to jump into a caricature that we can do together we know what our tools are 
we have the basic uh, concept of placing a grid so we know where the pieces, the, the, the five shapes of a face go. And we're going to start with <clears throat> Bob Ross. He's the, the guy who I think started all of us in our art, our love of art, our appreciation of art, telling us it was okay to make happy mistakes, make lots of happy mistakes. So here we go. We're gonna start with his shape, the shape of his head. And this picture is terrific. He's got great, a great uh, head of hair. So we'll, we'll get his hair started and then we'll come in and kind of fill in the, the head shape. He's got great, great cheeks. This is why I use my pencil because I'm gonna get my shapes down, but I also have to, gotta get his beard in there. I may not be exactly, there we go. Kind of figuring out where everything, the lay of the land and his hair is terrific. There's an earlobe in there and an earlobe in there. Let's get our grid shape down so we know where things are supposed to go. And the nose. So, starting with the eyebrows on this one. Let's get some brows in. And then let's get his, uh, his uh, let's go ahead and get the bridge of his nose. Taking his nose down to the, the center. Perfect. And then of course the, the tip of his nose. Let's go ahead and um, finish up the nose. And uh, he's got a mustache here. So let's get that laid out, mustache. And, and his mouth. Okay, so yeah, a little more mustache than I wanted. So I'm gonna come in with my eraser now. All right. I can come back and do a little more racing, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the, the basic shapes in first. So he's got, he's got a smiling face. Let's get that smiling eye in there. And this one over here. They're moving pretty fast, but that's cool. We can come back. So there's, let's put his eyes in. See how, this is kind of going along pretty well. He's got, uh, Let's finish his face. And I like the way things are shaping up so far, so I might not have to erase too much, but let's get this, his cheeks in. His, and um, looks like he's got, looking at his face, smiling lines, of course, over here. And he's got a little bit of a, under his eyes. So, all right. Beard coming down, beard coming down. All right, I'm just about ready, I think, to start with the darker. So I'm going to start with my Crayola marker. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and follow the lines we've already created. So there's his ear sticking out, and there's the other ear. Let's get the bridge of his nose in there. Looking at his face. Might put a little, okay. His mustache really comes up closer to his nose. Let's do that. And then comes across, looking good. And then his smile. Let's go ahead and do his lower lip here. Looks good. And then he's got this terrific beard coming down. And so we're gonna just get the shape first and we can fill in it, fill in the rest of it as we finish it. So back to the eyebrows. Let's darken those. Get the shape. That's looking pretty good. All right, and now the eyes, again. let's finish up our eyes. Smile. And 
the eyes inside. I'm going to keep a little bit of light in an eye when you do an eye to show the, <clears throat> the sparkle. So I'm going to darken in the eyebrow. Now I'm going to finish up his forehead. Go back up here to the top of his head. I may not be able to get his whole his whole bush in, but we'll get a lot of it in his hair. So he's got curly hair. Let's make that happen. All the way around, curly, curly. Put that line in there. Okay, under his eye, under his eye. So I'm just kind of filling in at this point. Let's go ahead and give his mustache a little bit of reality. And then he's got his beard. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put a line for his beard here. So it's not, since we can't see his chin, we'll just fill that in. Looks good, looks great. Okay, a little more of the hair. Now Bob Ross, personnel, his his signature hair. It's gotta, we gotta make that happen. So a lot of hair. Come on, and then and then his cheeks come out. So here I've made my pencil marks, and I'm gonna come back and probably erase the pencil. But let's come in and get his lower lip filled. Looks good. And then his teeth. We're gonna go ahead and make full size teeth. So, all right, and let's finish up some hair. And it's pretty, pretty easy to kind of come through and <clears throat> looks good, looks good. What else can we do here? His mustache actually comes down, comes down here on the sides. And <clears throat> a little tiny bit of lines here, his smile lines. That's okay. Happy lines. Happy mistakes. <laughs> he would approve. I am sure. Okay, looking good, Bob. Okay, now, what else do we want to do? Okay, let's come in now at this point. We're about ready for the finishing touches. I'm going to come back in on the bottom of his, with my dark marker, finish up his beard. And uh, let's go ahead and put his neck. He's got a neck out here. So let's get caricature shaped neck. We'll go ahead and put a collar on him. There we go. So now let's come in with our color. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that he's got blue eyes. Let's give him some blue eyes. Looks good. Actually, before I do that, I want to go ahead and come in and, and take out my pencil lines because we're, we're done with those. We figured that out already. Take them out with the eraser. Nice. All right. All right. So let's uh, come back in with brown. We're going to brown up his hair some. Yeah, curly hair is kind of easy. It's kind of fun. It's still we want to get that full, full, uh, full look that he's so famous for on his hair. A little more over here. This is where we can kind of refine, <clears throat> refine our 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 work a little bit. I think I want to give some color to his beard as well. Here we go. I'm moving pretty fast, so it doesn't always have to be super fast, but you want to have some amount of efficiency so that, and continue to talk to your clients if you're actually doing this. Okay, I'm going to come back with some more dark. I want to finish his eyebrows with the dark. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. So, a little more of a nostril shape here. I like. We can shape up his lips a little bit. Very nice, very nice. And then the top of his lip, he's got, he's got his whiskers 
all the way down over his lip, which looks okay, just fine. Nice. Now we're going to come in with some shadow, and so I use the Tombow for the shadowing, and I just come in and just kind of shape it around the sides like this, so it accentuates, gives it a little more contour. And we do it, um, I'm going to do it here, I'm going to do it along the nose. Gives it some depth and contour inside of the eye there, and then under the eye a little bit, underneath. Go ahead and uh, put some more contour maybe around the nose here too. And under under his lip. So that pronounced it gives a pronounced lip a little bit. And we can go ahead and darken his 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 laugh line a little bit with this as well. I like. So we'll just put a little more shadow here. We can just kind of keep adding to that so it gives that contour and we can use this on the beard as well nice i'd like to bring his ears out a little bit the shape i don't know if we can distinguish that because you can't see the rest of them under his hair but that's cool he looks pretty good so i want to accentuate his lips a little bit more here on the sides give it that way they kind of bring it bring out the the front of his his lip so all right now what about these eyes they look pretty good so far but i want to i like sometimes to come in with um maybe darken the, the blue a little bit more so they stand out and then come in with um Either leave, leave those stripes or you can come in with another marker. I have a white marker that kind of accentuates the light in someone's eyes a little bit more. Good. All right. So we're just about done, I think, with this one. I think it's looking good. So, so make sure all of your pencil lines are erased at this point if you feel like you're happy with the result. Just take them, take them and erase them. Maybe come in and uh, maybe just a little bit more uh, through the hair, just shadow it out a little bit. Some more brown. I'm just kind of going free form. I'm not spending a huge amount of time because this is very playful. This is fun. And, and then you want to say, you want to put the name down if you think you're in a stopping place. So let me, here we go. A little bit, a little bit more here. Looking at his, his nose. His eyes you can bring a little more dark on the top. That's it. I think I've done it. Bob, looking good. Thanks so much for all you've done for the arts. And you can also put your own name on there somewhere if you like, but that's it. Fun. Thank you guys for joining me. And I want to tell you before I leave that you can, there are a number of great tutorials on YouTube that will help you develop your skills in drawing, practice with your friends, your parents, and grow your confidence and, and keep having fun. All right.